Across the country, top health experts are bracing for what could be an incoming tidal wave of COVID cases this holiday season. The fast spreading Omicron variant has now been detected in 45 of 50 states. Cases are rising across the tri-state area. In New York, a fourth consecutive day of record cases with more than 23,000 people testing positive. In New Jersey, more than 6,500 new cases. In Connecticut, more than 1,400 people tested positive on Friday alone. We have team coverage tonight. Kevin Rincon has more on the lines for COVID tests in New Jersey. But we begin with Alice Gaynor. She's live in Harlem with New York City's plan to add more testing sites. Alice. We are at a city-run testing site here on West 118th Street and take a look at this line. It continues to just grow and grow at this hour. The city announced it will be adding additional testing sites this week in community settings like schools and libraries. City supervisors will also be sent out from the test and trace corps. They're going to be making sure everything's running more smoothly at these city-run sites and also at private sites. It is um, the fastest, fittest, and most formidable version of the virus that we have seen thus far. The rapid spread of Omicron has created what the city calls an extraordinary increase in demand for testing. We are now testing, in fact, more people than ever. 130,000 plus daily in the city sites. The mayor says that's double the number of tests three weeks ago. Today, long lines continued at various testing sites. We need the tests, so we line up as long as it takes. The city has 89 testing sites in all five boroughs. It's adding 23 more this week. By the end of the week, that will be 112. It also posts some of the wait times online. We just had an arrival of 1 million testing kits. We have another million coming next week. Governor Hochul says a new portal should be up and running soon in the state, allowing people to order at-home testing kits. So what happens if you test positive? The city offers free support. Whether it is a hotel room to isolate in, whether it is food, medical support. Health officials maintain your best protection is vaccination, including a booster. You either won't get infected or if you do get an infection, it will be most likely mild. But if you are unvaccinated, I'm worried about you. I'm worried that your risk of being hospitalized or, uh, God forbid, losing your life to this virus is, is quite significant. City hospitals are prepared. All of our hospitals have plans for how we will expand uh, we worked on it all weekends. We're doing fine right now. And with Christmas just days away and some still unsure about how to celebrate, here's the advice. Plan your holidays around your most vulnerable family member. That may mean hosting a virtual gathering or moving activities outdoors or using masks, same-day tests, and distancing. He adds, if you are planning to gather with other people, open the windows for better ventilation. We want to point out here at the city-run testing site at West 118th Street, we observed a worker going around to people online asking them if they would prefer to have this at-home test here rather than waiting on these lines. We know right now lines can run anywhere in the city from 30 minutes to over two hours. We are live tonight in Harlem. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. It's great that people are trying to stay safe, Alice. Thank you.